Before we get started with this video, we're gonna give a special shout out Hi. to the camera woman right here for this whole thing. So, now, let's run it. So All right, what it is, what's up on top of my baby bags, and welcome or welcome back to the wonderful world of Faye. All right, so today we're going to be doing a tour of the Wiley University. All right, so without further ado, let's get up in this tour. All right, so if you see a lot of people around the campus and walking around and stuff like that, a lot of older people, it's because today is Father's Day. Yay! This is a big accomplishment for HBCUs because we're like black and we in school. So of course it's a big accomplishment. So we have been open for 151 years. I believe the 17th will mark the day. But right now, we are walking to our cab. And if you look over here, it is Smith Nooks, which is also, what is it called? This is Smith Nooks, which is also known as Admissions. And over here is our financial aid building. And this is the White House right here. That is our president's house. So. We're gonna get more into that later, but come on, let's go to the cast. Right here, we have our Miss Wally. Ah! You said hottie. <laughs> and this is our admissions counselor, Mr. Isaac. So now we're gonna go to the cast. All right, so now we're entering into our cast. So, this is called the Fred T. Pop Long Cast, which was founded by that man right there. And right here we have our alma mater, which is very important to all schools because you gotta, you know, know where you came from or where you went. So, without further ado, let's walk in. And this is actually new. And if you did not know, if you watched my homecoming vlog, we just turned back into a university. So, clock that. As we walk over here, this is our cast where we eat, of course, and all of that good jazz. So, I'm not going to go all the way in, but you can do a little pan around if you want to. So now we're going to go downstairs, which is my territory. So if you do not know, I am the president of the Student Union Activities Board here on campus. And we're over all activities and all the good stuff, such as homecoming and spring playing and stuff like that. So, downstairs is what we call our student union, or the basement if you call it. If you look over here, we have all the things, all the divine nine fraternities and sororities here on campus. All right, so this is our basement, or as we like to call it, the student union. And we have different things down here. We have a little gaming room, or whatever you want to call it, a little chill lounge. We have pool tables. And also, they're renovating this right here. I can't even tell you what they're going to do to it, but yeah. So this is what I like to call my territory because I am Sydney and Activities Board President. So a lot of the time, we host a lot of meetings down here because we try to utilize this space as much as possible. And down here, we also have a career closet, which is free, and a food pantry, which is open as well. So if you don't have any snacks or have the money or funds or anything to afford this, groceries and all of that good stuff you can come down here and make a little list and get your groceries for free and we also have of our director of career services if i didn't hear me before i said we are home with some of the most single letter and mother chapters so we have mother chapters which are basically the mamas of the d9 well in texas at least so we have the aka's the sigmas and who else right the mothers. Mother shots. Oh, uh, well. Well, as she said, except for the AC drugs and my others, they're all mother chapters because, you know, we are the mother. We, when it comes to Texas, we have a lot of respect. Put some respect on Wiley's name. And when it comes to single letter chapters, there's basically like Phi, Theta, Theta. And if y'all don't know what that means, I don't need it. So. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> As we exit the cafeteria, we're going to our next destination, which will be the Human Sweat Plaza, or as they'll call it, the Yard. So, come on, let's go. <laughs> so, 
So as we're making our way to the yard, we ran into our president. Hello, it is the president. <laughs> <laughs> he is our 17th president here at Wiley University. He's doing a great job so far. And look, he got a little fancy golf cart and stuff too. Because mm -hmm. he got big money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have big money. We just we just use our money. Yeah, we just use it uh, the right way. This, however, is big money. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see the three quarter purple? Might I add, trench coat. Do you see the what? What is that? I don't know. I bought it somewhere. I forgot where I bought it. Nice. Whatever it is, it is nice. Thank you. Thank you. The specs. I mean, he blinged out all over the place, right? Um, he's just fancy like that. This is nice. And this is not just a regular YouTuber or influencer. This is a special one. You put him Wally on the map. He put him Wally on the map. <laughs> Thank you for letting me be a part. Thank you for being a part. All right. <laughs> so as you're making our way to the yard, this is something, something here that is very historical and very important when it comes to Wiley University. So, the yard is where some students, we... Sometimes come outside to do our homework whenever it's sunny. As you can see today, it's not the prettiest, but it's okay. But <laughs> it's not the prettiest today, but we still gonna record this tour. So if you look over here, this is our yard. It's just a, a bunch of space. Just a bunch of space to do free will, whatever you please. We have a lot of benches here. So if you want to sit out here, do your homework, you do that. Only when it's sunny outside though, because this right here, you think it is. So, we also host different things out here like our spring fling. Sometimes we have events for homecoming in. Uh, for HAB, we have what we call a powder puff game and we have Sunday fun days as well. We try to host a lot of events out here and like utilize this area as much as possible because it's a very pretty space. And like we seen earlier, the president's house over there, the library, which will be our next stop actually over there. And I'm not going into every single building because I refuse to make this video to be an hour long. We're just going to show you some of the outsides of the building. So like over there, over yonder, is McLeod Hall, which is where we home the IT department and the police department. And also, I believe it is advertising up there as well, if I'm not mistaken. And right here, we have Dogan Hall, which houses the men's and women's basketball team and soccer, men and women's soccer, and some of the CAs as well. And I don't know who else stands with Dogan, but fun fact. Dogan needs to be in our women's dorm before we got here. So, it also got burned down. And it, all of these dormitories that you see are named after past presidents. And President Dogan was one of the most, if not the most historical president here, along with President Hayes. Hayes? Hayes? Yeah, Hayes. President Hayes. Which, fun fact, today his daughter spoke at our Founders Day convocation today. So, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, first and foremost, if you look up here, this building right behind me is what we call Third Killed Hall. Fun fact, this is the one of two Third Killed Halls in the world. And this one is on our campus, and the second one is on Howard University's campus. Another fun fact, they copied us. So, Third Killed isn't just some random building that you see. It houses Criminal Justice Department, Education Department and business as well and some of the classes are hosted up in here as well and we have other buildings on campus that host classrooms too and if you look right here him and mary sweat this is what i meant when there's something very historical and that we hold dear in our hearts at here at old wiley dear him and mary sweat he was a graduate of wiley university and after he graduated he wanted to go to law school but they did not let him in said law school because he was black so he went to the state of Texas and basically sued the school. And what the state of Texas did, they built a whole other school just for him and other black students to attend and get a law degree just like everybody else. And that school is known as Texas Southern University School of Law today. So without Wiley, there would be no Texas Southern. Clock it. On to our next destination. So as we're making our way around, you might see some of these weird looking statue looking things. I know. I didn't know what they were when I got here either. I wasn't that educated. So, my job here is to educate y'all. So, right here we have our plot for Delta Sigma Theta. This is one of three plots that they have on this campus. And if you look over here, this. 
Y'all, tell me my mic wasn't recording for half of this video. Sick. And I didn't know until I went to strict. Anyway, not important. But as I was saying before, I got really interrupted. If you look around, you see a lot of our plots. You see the plot for Delta Sigma Theta, Sorority Incorporated, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and right beside it is a plot for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And on that far side over yonder is Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. And on this other side of this building right here is the science building, which holds the biology department and some of the science classes that you will be taking whenever you first get on campus. And after that, nine times out of ten, you will never see that building again. And there's another plot over here by the library, which is Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And as I was saying right here, I was talking about the science building, that whenever you first get here, you'll probably have a science class or maybe a math class in there. But after the freshman year, you're never going to see that again. So now to our next destination, which is the library so this library is very very important and i spoke about the importance of this library later and y'all i'm really upset that my mic was off because i was just talking but thank god for voiceovers thank god for a voiceover so let's enter this library and when we enter this library you see my friend who is also a work study student in this library anaya and if you've seen she also did one of my takeovers you can go view that video soon but anyway as I was saying, in this library, it houses, I want to say 3,000 plus books, and it has a lot of African-American literature and a lot of regular books that you need for your studies or anything like that. It's a regular book that you want to read. And all of these books and amenities that are in the library are free of charge. It is all covered with their tuition. Once you pay that 17,000, everything is covered. Your meals, your books, computers, anything that is on this campus that we have available, free to use because you paid that 17500 So in this library, we have our librarian, Ms. Bradshaw. And again, I'm really upset that it cut because she was telling y'all about this other room that I'm going to show y'all next. But Ms. Bradshaw is the director of library services. And again, if you have any questions or want to know anything, you can email her and all of her information will be on Wiley's website. So this next room that I'm showing y'all is our history room. It holds a lot of different pictures and books and yearbooks from Wiley's past. And she explained a lot better than I did. That's why I'm kind of upset that this kind of cut out, but like, it's okay. But this room is very historical. It holds a lot of Wiley's history, a lot of rich history in Wiley, a lot of things that you really don't see normally. And it holds a lot of things that we've done in the past. And yeah it's just very historical so our next stop is going to be our chapel which is another historical building on this campus a lot of these buildings on this campus are very very historical and i stated before that every single building is named after somebody that did something very historical on this campus and now we have reached the julius s scott senior chapel this chapel is very important because every single tuesday from 11 to 2 the whole campus 11 to 12, my apologies. From 11 to 12, the whole campus shuts down. Faculty, staff, and student all come and gather in the chapel. And the chapel is very meaningful to me because it holds something I really admire about it. It is the stained glass windows. These stained glass windows are very important because it talks about and shows the history of Wiley. It goes all the way back from slavery to present day. And it's very important because it shows how much our ancestors fought for us to get right here today how much my ancestors fought for me just to walk around this campus and give y'all this video we are kind of the blueprint for a lot of things that happened when it came to the civil rights movement we started that and then everybody else kind of followed along when it came to the sit-ins the protests all of that why the students started that and right here it shows our miss wiley and our national miss uncf which we are holding the title for the 11th consecutive Miss National UNCF. And as we continue, it shows our great debaters, which Wiley is very well known for that, and our acapella choir, which Wiley is also well known for that as well. We went to different places like Washington, to the White House, and also Japan, if I'm not mistaken. And if we keep going down, it shows our sports, which Wiley is the creator of the SWAC, which is used in a lot of sports, like competitions and stuff like that. So you're welcome. And as we continue to go down, it shows our sports history, our music history, our debater history, our presidential history. And it talks about our, our president, which our dorms are named after, Haywood L. Strickland, who was president not so long ago. 
and if you look over there is a building being burned which is the chapel not this chapel this chapel that i'm standing in right now is our most newly renovated this chapel was burned down before and wally is no stranger to the fires as i was stating here this chapel got burned down because wally is a united methodist church and we are affiliated with the united methodist church in 1873 when it was founded the KKK did not like the fact that we were a black college affiliated with a United Methodist Church. So they did everything in their power to try to stop our education and stop our higher education. They wanted to do anything to stop black people from getting education. And that Wiley was the first HBCU was in Mississippi. They really didn't like that. So they burned down our buildings. They burned down our chapel. They burned down our, our dorms, our library. Wiley is no stranger to a fire. And outside of this chapel, there is a remaining piece of the chapel that got burned down, which I'll be showing that a little later. So I was just stating here how Wiley's history is very rich and the history that I just spoke to y'all about, about the white people not liking that we were black and getting an education. So now we're going to enter into the sanctuary. This is where we gather every single Tuesday from 11 to 12. Faculty, staff, and students all gather in this sanctuary to hear the choir sing, to hear a word, to hear the, either the Dean of Chapel preach, or sometimes they'll get a guest speaker, and they're very strategic about their guest speakers. Sometimes they'll get the guest speakers when it's like Minister Strength Week, Women of Excellence Week, Finals, Midterms, and you know, all of that good stuff. Homecoming, Spring Fling, like today, Founders Convocation, they got a guest speaker for that as well. They try to get these guest speakers, and they're very strategic about picking those guest speakers because they want us, want them to uplift us and give us a positive message to keep us going through whatever times we're going through at that time. Whether it's Men's Strength Week, they'll get a man to speak to the men and uplift us, women of excellence, you know, vice versa. And over here is the Hodge Center, which holds the Health and Wellness Center, and we also have free counseling which i've noticed and i've just recently learned that a lot of campuses in hbcu campuses do not have mental health access or free mental health access so it's, it kind of you know grinds my gears as a sociology major but you know what that's neither here or there but we have free counseling here on campus and you can visit them anytime set up an appointment talk to them everything and over there far on the far 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 over yonder is pemberton which is also very, very historical. Pemberton was the first black high school in Marshall. We were the only school that was giving black students an education. And it's very, it's very meaningful. Very meaningful to all of the students here at Wiley because a lot of our alumni actually went to that high school. And not so long ago, they had their reunion. And right here is when I was talking about that there is a remainder of the chapel that got burned down by the KKK and this is also very historical and right here I was just speaking about some of the history and the stuff that I stated before about Marshall having the first black high school and giving black kids the opportunity to have an education. Wiley has a very rich history a very very rich history and we take pride in that and over to my what side is that right yeah my right it was our newly renovated alumni gym and as I was stating, I refuse to go in every single room and building because in the video it'll be like an hour long. But if you do book your tour, I might be your tour guide. And you can book your tour through the Office of Admissions, period. And as we're going down, we're going down to the dormitories. And yeah, and over here, this building is Jackson Hall, which holds our nurses and our doctor that comes once a month. We have different availabilities, different tests that you can take, COVID, flu std test you know whatever you need we have it and right here is where i ran into some of our beautiful finer women of zeta phi beta sorority incorporated who are also members of the acapella choir this is tara kadeem and destiny day beautiful beautiful and the voices and i was stating here that they just wrapped up their zeta week and Terrica was basically thanking everybody that came out and if you you know supported them she really appreciates it because you know, we love people that come out and show up and support our fellow student body. And yeah, and I was saying that we had a blast at the event last night because it was a salsa event. So, oh wait, we're back in business. I figured out that my microphone was dead this whole time, so like. All right, so we made it to Strickland. This is where I live. The rest so of us regular folk. On this side, 
and show y'all the washes and dryers, which our washes and dryers are free. Some campuses you do have to pay for washing, which is so good, but here it is free. And the only thing that you have to pay for is your own washing detergent, you know, dryer sheets, all that good stuff. Other than that, completely free of charge in your tuition make our way up to my room. Don't judge me, it's a little junky right now because I ain't packing for spring break, but not too much. I'm being vulnerable right now. We have made it upstairs. Now we're gonna go to my room. And like I said, don't judge me. My room is a little messy because I'm packing. Don't judge me. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm going to reiterate this again. Do not judge me. You may see a lot of clothes. You may see a lot of things on my desk. That's just, that's not what we're here for. Just, just look at the room. All right, so the rooms aren't like, you know, they're not big, but they're not little. They're just enough. So in this dorm, you share a room with one other person and you share a restroom with four people. So this is my room and I used to have a roommate, but he is no longer here with us. Not not, not like that, but he's just, he just gone. So yeah, but currently I'm packing for spring break. Cause I'm going to Washington with my school, which that'll be in the next vlog next Sunday. So tune in. Ah. Anyway, this is my room. Like I said, you share the room with two people, but you share the restroom with four people because on the other side of that wall are suite mates. So four people to a restroom, two people to a room. And I'm pretty sure it's like that kind of everywhere. I don't really know about the other dorms too much because I don't live there and I really don't care. So, you know, but yeah, nine times out of 10, if you're a regular student, you're in choir, track, baseball, you're gonna be in this dorm. And if you're in soccer, basketball, and any other sport that's not track, baseball, or volleyball, you'll be in J Moon or Dogen. If J Moon is not ready whenever y'all get here, you'll be in Dogen. So just a block. And I didn't talk about that either. There's another dorm, Johnson Moon, which I did not show and it really wasn't visible. But who cares? It's not open. Okay. Here in Shik, we have our RCM to watch over the dorms and make sure everything is going correctly and all your keys and stuff. They are. These are grandmas at the school. They're so sweet. All you got to do is come speak and they're going to speak right back. And this is Miss Smith. Hi. And we have Miss Wright. We're not going to show her right now because she's eating. But we have Miss Wright too. <laughs> and we have reached the end of our video and the end of our tour. And I really hope y'all enjoy. And for all these students that are thinking about coming to Wiley, come on. And if you want an in-person tour, make sure you come book with the Office of Admissions. And who knows, I might be a tour guide. So without further ado, until next time I want to step into my world, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>